With huge new Pokemon rumors afloat, it's time to grab hold and see how we feel about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, whether we think these are legitimate and real claims, and if we're excited about the potential for these games and the new changes. What's going on everybody, it's Zach from Switch Force, Gabe is here, just call us Let's Go Zach and Let's Go Gabe, because this is super freaking interesting. Uh, we already covered the exact details and where this all comes from, but let's just get into it. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I'll say straight off the bat, I think this is very legitimate and very accurate. It ties in nicely to many things that we've heard, um, and I think it dispels a lot of the clutter around the actual leaks and rumors and kind of kicks that dust away to unveil this core, um, which is being s sort of corroborated by a number of sources and makes a lot of sense whether I feel I like that sense, we'll get to later, but I do find these to be very... They, they seem accurate to me. Yeah, I don't necessarily believe that they're 100% accurate the same way you do, but there does seem to be an air of legitimacy to what is being said. So many different sources claim to all be talking about the same thing here for the most part. So it seems like it could be the case, although there's still some ambiguity about, in particular, the Eevee title, because they're saying, like, hey, that particular logos like fan made the pikachu one kind of like that one seems to be real but yeah th th there's still a lot of confusion here i honestly just can't wait for this to get announced at this point just so we can stop with all this because it's kind of making my head hurt all right and emily rogers claims that's happening later this month we have heard some back and forth about you know it would be revealed soon 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 before e3 before e3 and it's looking like that is going to happen so gabe let's take the approach that this is the pokemon switch title we're getting it's coming out this fall it's yellow remakes for the Switch. There are two versions, one with Pikachu at the helm and one with Eevee at the helm. And, you know, going through that list that the, the user on 4 posted, um, there is some Pokemon Go integration. There are some updates, uh, like uh, HMs are replaced with Pokeride, following Pokemon Returns. Um, Red and Blue play a role in the story, but you and your rival are brand new trainers. And there is a new accessory that will be able to... Uh, find use in both Pokemon Go and these new titles. First off, how do you feel about this, I don't want to say obsession, but fascination with Pokemon Go and that Game Freak and Nintendo want to really incorporate that success and that idea into their game? I think it's probably smart business, right? Whether we like it or not, it's impossible to ignore the sheer, like, masses that was into pokemon go and a lot of them continue to be into pokemon go right there's all these events and pokemon go is by all means a completely different game now than from when i was playing it when it first came out so they've grown and cultivated that audience enough that i don't see why there wouldn't be any like crossover like it's kind of smart if it's implemented well and it doesn't like completely change what these what this console well these it's two of them what these console games are going to be then I, I don't I don't mind it for the most part. Again, it's all in the implementation. As long as they can keep this a, a core experience and not dilute it too much with the go-ness of it, then I don't see a problem with it at all. Is Pokemon Go still very popular? I, I don't know. I don't know anyone personally that plays, but are, have you ran into people that still are into it? Yes, I, I know a few people that still play. I... Uh, lurk on the subreddit for some reason i don't know why mm. why i do know why um I, I, when pokemon go first launched i subscribed to the subreddit i'm on reddit a lot so you know anytime that i'm into something a little bit i just go and you know subscribe to the reddit thing and you know i'm still on it so every once in a while i, I check it out and they still have a lot of very cool stuff happening like raiding was introduced and more and more, more and more pokemon got introduced there's a lot there that i haven't experienced whatsoever but yeah pokemon go is still pretty popular Okay, so if that is the case, then yeah, it does make sense. If you look at how Nintendo has, really all they've done with the Switch is about appealing to sort of modern sensibilities, right? And so that makes perfect sense. Now, the part where I start to get a little worried is how great is this integration? Because we'd really hope that Pokemon Switch would be a chance for them to invigorate the franchise with new mechanics, with a new battle system, with new ideas, uh, with sort of fresh content, and maybe not an entirely fresh take on the franchise, but imbuing enough new elements that it felt like a new era of Pokemon. Now, obviously, some people just wanted straight up more Pokemon that they experienced on 3DS, but I do wonder what the sort of overarching plan is for this. You know, we saw how Zelda 
in my mind, dramatically changed for Switch. And I feel like it almost, it modernized itself while also doubling down on the hardcore nature of many Nintendo fans. And, and I would venture to say that Mario Odyssey is similar. It modernized itself and also doubled down on the mechanics and elements that make it a gamer's game. So when I see this Pokemon Go integration, my initial thought is like, oh god, are they dumbing this down and are they going to mainstreamify Pokemon more than it already is and remove more of the tried and true RPG elements? You seem to think that that's not what they're indicating here, but I definitely have my concerns. Yeah, I think all this is just going to be complimentary, right? Like, I I don't think Nintendo or uh, Game Freak would just make this a console version of Pokemon Go. I don't think that's what's happening. I still think it's an RPG, and all those elements will still be there, I, I feel like. It's just that, hey, now when you're playing handheld, you can, like, sling a Pokeball with your finger just because of the texturing mm-hmm. capability. Like, I truly believe that that's, like, kind of as far as it's going to go. And, yeah, maybe some, like, I, I, uh, item sharing and things like that, sure. But even that, like, that's not horribly intrusive to, like, the core gameplay. And to me, and, and, you know, talking off air, I told you, like, hey, like, slinging your finger when you're playing, like, in handheld, like, how different is that really than just, like, pressing a button to throw a Pokeball? Like, it's the same thing. Like, oh, absolutely. I- if anything, there's, like, a little bit more nuance to it just because, it, I, I mean, I, I don't, yeah, you're, you play Pokemon Go. So, like, mm-hmm. you can throw Pokeballs, like, in different ways in Pokemon Go. Like, if you, like, you know slide your finger like in a certain way like the pokeball gets thrown a certain way there's perfect throws things like that so if anything it adds a little bit more complexity than yeah. than just like hey press the button to throw it because that's what it's been in the past so I- i'm not instantly off put by all those things again implementation it's where where it's going to be for me yeah i mean at a low level i think it's cool right bridge some of the elements that made pokemon go so fun and so successful on the sort of opposite end i'm terrified if this becomes a pokemon goified main pokemon game you know this this leak slash rumor reads pokemon go integration catching pokemon works like in go rewards in game and go for linking the two together new accessory can be used with both go and the game so i don't foresee them incorporating any of the like augmented reality stuff into the switch version i don't i don't think that is in the cards whatsoever i would be genuinely shocked if that was the part of pokemon go that they brought brought over it's Um, it's not possible there's no cameras on the switch Very true. So then it's either mechanics or, you know, something to do with how the items work. I mean, again, nightmare scenario is that they oversimplify and they bring in the microtransaction nature of Pokemon Go. I (laughs) can't foresee Game Freak going all in on something like that. That just seems so not like them. Um, I don't know. To me, the idea of a remake game that is very Pokemon Go influenced, is insanely terrifying. I know it doesn't bother you, but for what I wanted out of this Pokemon game going forward in the same ways that Zelda has has progressed and Mario has progressed, that to me seems like the exact opposite. But I guess when I when I hear it your take, I'm not as worried. Yeah, because I'm just trying to make sure I'm not making any leaps here. Right, because at the end of the day, this is like some leak that, like, you know, it, we're saying, like, hey, we're basing this off of this is true, but there's still levels of, of this being true, right? Because Pokemon Go integration can be something as simple as, like, hey, like, link the account, and there's a new accessory that we're selling that, like, it works for both. Like, that's pretty much a. So, so what would an accessory be for a Pokemon Switch game? You know, it, it can't be something that's related to, I imagine, anything like the 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 plus right like the yeah no, I, w- I would imagine not but you know to be honest the last thing nintendo did was made out of cardboard so i, I can't even pretend <laughs> to be able to to guess what they're gonna do yeah i mean it could be something as silly as like a pokedex that catalogs across both platforms it could be it could be an app on, it could be an app on your phone like because yeah. the, the pokemon goes on the phone that they have the splatoon app like they could do something like that where like, Hey, there's this new accessory, wear it around your wrist or whatever. And, and it'll keep track of similar to, to, you know, the previous accessory, but now it's going to integrate as with these games as well. So like, I, I see, mean, maybe it, I see that it, it is a bullet point, honestly, and it'll be yeah. there to incentivize people that are still really into Pokemon go. But I don't think the core of this game is going to be Pokemon go. I really don't feel that way. I wonder if it could be something actually 
sort of go back on what we just talked about, something similar to Pokemon Go Plus, just without any of the positional. So Pokemon Go Plus does, you know, indicate and vibrate when, like, oh, a Pokemon's near. And obviously it wouldn't do that, but maybe when Pokemon are tired or, or I I don't know, there's there's a, a another trainer nearby or maybe it has some ability to sync up with the game almost like Tamagotchi style. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Pokemon Go integration, it's we think it's smart. You feel like it will be very limited. I'm concerned that it might be a little bit more um, overboard. And then I think it moves on to the, the real, to me, the real issue, which is yellow remakes for Switch. And again, you and I have such different interpretations of this, um, and, and it leads us to completely different takes. I'll let you go first. Sure, right? If they reveal the trailer and it's the exact same game that's just prettier, you know, then I'll have some of the similar issues that you do. But only to an extent, because I've been pretty open about my lapsed fandom for Pokemon. Right? I haven't mm-hmm. played a game in, in, in so long. When I played Yellow, I was, I was a child. And right. sure, I remember the experience. I, I know what it is. But being able to experience that stuff again, honestly, would probably be be super nostalgic and fun for me and you know this because once we were in a hotel room and we were trying to like name off how many like pokemon we could like name i don't know you remember this but yeah. i i don't know any pokemon that are like after the second generation so right. so going back to Kanto region to stuff that i know something about that is alluring to me like i'm okay with that because look the information we have is very limited, right? And I can easily take it somewhere, and you can easily take it somewhere, and it doesn't necessarily mean that's where it's going to go. So I, I'm still really trying to withhold judgment. So I think me not being as, like, up in arms about it as you it is more just me, like, waiting. If it does yeah. turn out to be, like, an exact like copy of the game, then, you know, that would probably be a huge disappointment for me. But I'm still pretty excited to revisit this thing from my childhood that I haven't played in, you know, a decade plus at this point. And I'll echo the things that I have, you know, said previously, which is if it's just borrowing the region or the Pokedex, I have no issue with that. My concern comes in when I I read the word remake, because to me, I read remake differently than you. I read remake to be much more akin to, you know, the Shadow of the Colossus remake we recently saw, or even something, you know, like Wind Waker HD, where it's, the same game dolled up. Now, if it is just the region, the area, the Pokemon, but with all new features, that makes sense. And I I do see how this kind of lines up. You know, Nintendo's made it very clear that this year is about expanding the user base beyond the traditional gamer and beyond the hardcore Nintendo fan that bought the Switch on launch night. So if you do take Pokemon, which is probably one of your most family-friendly, all-inclusive properties, IP... And then you bring in these Pokemon Go elements that captured millions of players, right? And then you return it to a simpler time for the, for the, the, the sole reason that people are aware and recognize and it, it limits the sort of the chaos around it. And Pokemon Go found extreme success by having that original limited roster. They've expanded since, but it does sort of line up and make sense of, okay, this would seem to lead towards the idyllic, like, all-player Pokemon game. And, and we don't know anything about the battle system. We don't know anything about the complexity of new features or what's being added, what's being removed. Based on the fact that HMs, you know, oh, we'll replace the Poke Ride, following Pokemon Return, online is a hub for players, um, two versions. Like, it sounds like many of the elements that we want are still there. I... Don't know yet if they'll be expanded upon, but it, like, to me, the first year was about establishing Nintendo and the Switch as like, hey, we need to get the gamers and the Nintendo nostalgic back on board, and then it seems like year two, y- even just look at the lineup across the board, Kirby, Labo, Yoshi, Smash Bros, Pokemon, and I'm not saying that those games don't have hardcore followings or can't appeal to those, I mean, obviously Smash Bros, the tournament is headlining E3 for Nintendo, and like, that's it, as hardcore as it gets, but it kind of does line up to, hey, we're now turning our focus a little bit to amassing a major audience, and all of these things 
play a, play a part in that, and they kind of all add up, and that's another reason I feel that this rumor makes a whole lot of sense and is probably true. I th- the other thing I wanted to touch on, right, like it's important to even pay attention to some of the other rumors, right? This isn't the first time we've heard, like, hey, Kanto. Like, mm-hmm. and those other rumors use the word reimagining. This one is using the word remakes. I, I feel like tra- they're trying to say the same thing. They're trying to get the same point across. And again, until we see what it is, I just want to wait. Well, a, re- a reimagining to me is almost more dangerous than a remake. What? Well, I, don't... I, don't, I don't know. When I hear the word reimagining, I think of a the same game just with like a different look i I don't know again like if my ideal world is that kanto is the template and then everything else is built fresh but but a reimagining to me like i I don't know i I think that's what a reimagining is i think it's taking the the kanto region and just making it new I think that's what we reimagining is. Uh, and again, it, it, it's just interpretation of these things. And I guess I choose to interpret them a little different. And yeah, and like I was saying, my thing is like, hey, let's wait. Once mm-hmm. w- once we get a trailer, once we get concrete details about what all this is, and it's like, hey, Pokemon Yellow for Switch, basically for $60, then sure, let, let's be a little bit more upset. But for the meantime, when you know these rumors may or may not even be real, and again, we're, we're going based off this is real, like, I'm not preemptively just gonna get my pitchfork out because game freak for the most part doesn't disappoint people too often i I know some people don't like some of the newer stuff i know some people do love some of the newer stuff you know there's a mixed bag there but i think it's important to at at least for me try to go in with an open mind you know despite whatever this thing ends up being hey we're gonna get a core pokemon game on, on switch it's never happened before, so if they're kind of going back to basics a little bit for this first time, I'm all for that. And that's the other thing. If they are doing this, like, hey, remake of Yellow for Switch, then that means Gen 8 isn't coming, like, anytime soon. So does this mean that we get Gen 8, like, hypothetically sooner, though? Because, I mean, like, hey, like, we're throwing... S- th- sooner than this year, No, no anything no, you- is then later. Yeah, no, I know that. But, like, it, it's clear that Gen 8 isn't ready right and the sentiment for a lot of like really hardcore pokemon fans has always been like hey it's too soon for gen 8 like that's what people have been saying like that but i almost feel like that's i don't know isn't ready like as if it needs to like cook a little like i yeah i don't i don't know i don't know what that even means and and you know back to basics to me is not what i want to hear if again if it's Back to the region and the Pokemon that made you fall in love with the franchise, okay, but I don't want back to basics. I don't want – again, that's where I get nervous about the Pokemon Go integration of this is a, a simpler experience. I, I, I don't want that, and especially since the price point is going to be upped, especially because this is now a console game, I feel like they definitely do need to up the ante in some areas, and I really, really hope that – if these are the games we play, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, I mean, they're throwing Go in the title. Clearly, it's going to have a role. I-, I do hope that it still builds upon the franchise and it still builds upon the mechanics rather than subtracts. I, I-, I want to ask you, Gabe, do you interpret anything Let's Go-wise in terms of the gameplay, or do you think that just more hints at the fact that you can take this game with you anywhere or play it at home? Probably a little bit of combination, right? Like, hey, you want Go in there just because Pokemon Go is such a, like, mainstay in people's minds at this point. Right. And, like, yeah, you can, like, take this thing with you anywhere. Like, I I think it's a little bit of both. It it helps with marketing. I don't like the names, personally. No? No. I I don't like... Is it because of Pikachu and Eevee, or is it because of Pokemon Let's Go? The Let's Go part is what I don't like. I will say that I do like it from a standpoint that it mixes things up. And, again, if, if the main idea here is to mix it up, not simplify it, but just mix up, then I'm on board. I think Eevee is an interesting choice. Um, I also wonder if this online hub is going to play a role. We know that the Switch has always emphasized multiplayer, co-op, things of that sort. So I wonder if the Let's Go, if there will be a greater focus on trading and battling. And, and I don't know where you exactly go with that, but if the fact that we, you know, I mean, people could do that always with the, 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 the 3DS, but... If this is, in fact, a bigger, better experience, I wonder if, therefore, the player interactions are bigger and better as well, and maybe the Pokemon Let's Go, like, bringing it with you, sharing it with others, incorporating the social aspects, because that's, 
kind of outside of the game, the biggest impact that Pokemon Go had was the societal social impact, right? Like, yeah. it, it wasn't so much, oh, flicking the ball or establishing a gym. It was the fact that it you, you would see people walking around outside and, like, you knew what they were doing and you'd be at Disney and all of a sudden there's hundreds of people flocking around this random bush because there's a freaking poly world over there or, you know, whatever. I, I wonder how they look to capture that. And the only way, I think, would be via some greater emphasis on online. And I think also it's important to note that when this game releases, regardless if it's this year or beyond, that online service will be there. So you'll be paying to play this game. And, and therefore, maybe they do incentivize with extra features, extra options, and, and a more built-out co-op competitive scene. Yeah, I think by the time this releases, the online thing is going to be a non-issue. Everyone's going to have it. It's The the, the cost of entry is so low there. I, I don't think that has any bearing on it. Well, it, but it still will be the first time that you will have to pay to be playing Pokemon online. Sure, sure. And you would hope that they, just like we hope that Smash Brothers expands the online functionality or at least makes it extra, you know, silky smooth, I feel like that would be a part. And given that Pokemon Go so gracefully handled interaction online and all of that at times not gracefully i guess but i don't know i'm curious if they do try to implement any sort of get out there i don't know how that would work or what it would be with switch but the let's go title the pokemon go integration the switch really hasn't utilized that part of its it'll be hard just because there's, no, there's no online connectivity though like that's the only like difficult like thing you can't do too much with the you can no. take the switch and play it sure but as far as like anything like online, you can't. I mean, you you can if you tether your phone, I guess. But you know that that's something that not a lot of people do. I'm just thinking and wondering, even with like this accessory and go and and linking the two, is there something like oh, the more places you check in on go, the more items you unlock in Let's Go, or the more trainers you come across the accessory, the more you know points you get for this. Like they could definitely do things like that. That. Do, don't utilize the Switch directly, but either utilize the Pokemon Go app in your phone or whatever this accessory is to incentivize a similar get-out-there type idea without directly needing the Switch itself. Yeah. I mean, that's almost a different like video, just like speculating like all this. And, you know, I'd rather wait till it gets like announced to, to, to see like what this integration is going to be like because... I mean, we could talk for like another hour about like how we think it could happen, and you know, if none of it ends up being true, then. I mean, I feel like this is gonna be true. I guess my my closing statement here is that I feel that these are the games. I feel that this lines up with what we've heard. Um, it it lines up directly against some things we've heard, but I I feel like that almost adds validity based on where the different pieces have come from. Um, I'm worried about the Pokemon Go integration, but if it does create a more advanced game that feels like an evolution of the the existing titles then i'm all for it and i hope that they find a way to expand the player base bring pokemon back for for new and old uh switch owners and pokemon fans while maintaining complexity and adding new elements of fun so i'm pretty stoked it seems like it's coming at the end of may do you have any final thoughts gabe not really. I'm I'm eager for this thing to get announced once and for all. Uh, I'm I'm ready for all of this rumor stuff to to be put to bed. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, like I said in the beginning of the video, I, I'm I'm pretty tired of it to be honest. Like it, it's so hard just because so much of it has been like clearly fake along the way, and then some stuff seems really real, and we get all excited, and then like no, now it's it. Like I just want all this to be over. Like I want to I want the game to be like out there, like at least in trailer form, so we know what it looks like. I want to see what it plays like. Uh, so I, hey, if this is true, we'll know in a couple of weeks. Yeah, very very nifty. Let us know your take on our discussion and your thoughts on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. We'll keep you posted if anything new occurs. And once that reveal that's supposed to happen within the next uh, 16 days, 15 days here, we'll have you covered there as well. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the Switch and these new games and details. Follow us on Twitter and Discord. Links in the description below. And for myself and Gabe, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Switch Force out.